So I don't know if this is maybe just in my area, if it's nationwide or I don't know all that, but in my area at least, we have a pretty big college, which is uh, East Tennessee State University, you know, and we have some, you know, lots of high schools and stuff. Well, today at 10 a.m., they organized a walkout. Um, I, I'm not sure if, like, middle schools or anything like that did it. But um, they organized a walkout today at 10 a.m. for gun control. Um, and so many people were participating in it that the, uh, the school boards and all that said that they could leave without consequence. Meaning, you know, they can walk out of school and nothing will happen to them or anything. Which I think is what really escalated this to the point where it is now. Because they said they could leave without consequence. I believe a lot more students left than there would have been leaving. They said it was over 90% of the students out of ETSU and out of the high schools walked out this morning at 10 a.m. Now it's got our local, what, like mayor, or city council, whatever the hell you call them people... They're saying, well, the government is not doing anything, and the governor is not doing anything, so we have to do something in our area to look after our own. So now, in the, the county and city I live in, they're talking about passing way strict gun control on these so-called assault weapons. So it's it's ridiculous. Like I said, I don't know if this was nationwide or just in my area or what, but it's honestly ridiculous. I don't understand. Um, you know, I seen a good meme on uh, Instagram the other day. And it was talking about how uh, a month or two ago, you know, you couldn't get kids to stop eating Tide Pods. And now they're dictating gun control. It's ridiculous. I've never seen a generation of kids so eager to give up their rights. I don't think they really understand how this is going to affect them when they get older. Like, they may realize they like shooting and they want to get into the sport, but can't. Because they push so hard for this gun control, they're not going to be able to own a firearm. It's a little bit ridiculous. I, I will never understand it. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just... Really aggravated, want to stop thinking about it, to be honest. But, uh, finally, uh, I did get the, uh, little brace here off the end. Um, the only real easy way to do this, uh, unless you, I guess, maybe take it to a gunsmith, is, uh, well, I used an air compressor, and that thing worked perfect. You see, it had, like, no damage done to it taking off. Um, but I, I am not going to use this. I'm going to go with a, um... The uh, SBA3, the retractable arm brace thing that they have now, it was about the same price as this one. Um, I did sell those Fila shoes on eBay, so I did order the rest of my parts here for this. Um, the, the, I have to, I had to order a different buffer tube. Uh, those pistol, those two pistol buffer tubes I had are the type that do not take a castle nut. So they would not work with the uh, Strike Industries Enhanced Castle Nut. So I had to, uh, I ordered the uh, KAK Industries uh, Buffer Tube. That's actually for the uh, Shockwave. Um, but uh, that takes a castle nut and stuff, so it should work just fine with it. Um, ready to get this uh, done now. The only thing I have left to order is like the $150 10-inch Strike Rail. And the pistol will be done. That's the only thing I have left to order. Uh, I took that two-way armament, uh, seven-inch uh, handguard rail off that upper, and I actually have it listed on eBay for $150. It turns out that rail retail goes for like $175, and there's not really any marks or anything on it. I, I just put it on there as a new takeoff, which is pretty much true. Um, but yeah, there's that. Uh, just wanted to tell y'all that. I don't know if it's happening nationwide or not, but uh, it's a little bit ridiculous.